However, this is a car insurance black box and today we'll take it apart and have a good look inside. Welcome to Car Spy TV. So, what is a car insurance black box? Well, a machine like this is installed in your car and, in general terms, measures things such as how quickly you drive, how hard you accelerate, brake and corner, and how many miles you cover. That information enables the insurance company to create a driver score. That score suggests whether you're a safe driver who's therefore unlikely to crash and make an insurance claim, or, in contrast, whether you're a complete loony who's likely to crash every 500 yards. If you're considered to be a safe driver, you're more likely to be offered cheaper insurance in the future, whereas, of course, if you're considered dangerous, you're more likely to pay a premium. Right then, let's have a closer look at this little black box. Now, this particular one is made by a company called Meta System, and it's about the shape and size of a small mobile phone. And if we have a look here, we can see a couple of wires emerging from the back. This one here, there it is. That is the negative wire, and that sits directly on the negative terminal of the car's battery. We also have, as you might expect, a positive wire, and that one sits directly on the positive terminal of the car's battery. And somewhere in between, here it is, that is a fuse. I shall show you. Open it up. There we go, a little yellow 5 amp. Right then. As we have an old car battery here, we may as well give the little black box a bit of electricity and see what it does. So I'm going to pop the positive cable onto the positive terminal and I'm going to attach it with these mole grips. And I need to be careful here not to accidentally snag the negative terminal of the battery. Otherwise, things are going to get a little bit sparky here at Car Spy TV, but we got away with that. Now, where's the negative cable? I need to pop that onto the negative terminal like so. Right, now if we have a look at the other side. Yep. Can you see that little green light? It's flashing every now and then. There we go. That indicates the machine has power, so when it's installed in your car, you know it's all connected and working. Right, to get inside this little black box, we need to first remove this electrical cable, which should be easy enough. So I'm just going to pry it off with a flat-headed screwdriver. So pop it in there like so, give it a wiggle, and with a bit of luck, I can get the screwdriver in. Come on, in you go. There we go. Ah, oh, yes, it's popped off absolutely fine. So a nice, easy start. Now, if we look around the edge of the little black box, can you see these plastic clips? There's one, there's another, and these go all the way around the entire machine, and these need to be pried open as well. And then, if we do that, I confidently expect <laughs> the whole thing to just pop open. Let's have a go at that then. And there we go. Well, it's all very small in here, lots of tiny little components. In fact, I've had to get a magnifying glass to see what's going on. Right then, what have we got? Well, this big green thing is a backup battery in case the black box gets disconnected from the car's battery, which it is now, of course. And it says here, triple A, 600 milliamp hours, 2.4 volts. So I suspect what we got in here is two fairly standard rechargeable AAA batteries mounted in series, but we will have a look in there in a moment. We also have the large printed circuit board dominating the interior of this machine. And look, there's the little green flashing light, which I think at this point is flashing to indicate a distress signal <laughs> because this thing's not feeling too well. Right, let's have a look under here. Take out the circuit board. Hang on, let's just pop out the battery as well. There we go. Come on now. There's no point in fighting me. I'm always going to win. There we are. Okay. Let's have a look at the other side of the circuit board. Ah, yes. Yeah. So that's where the battery is connected. Just there. And that 
I think I know what that is, but I'm going to double check before I tell you. Right, I've double checked and my suspicions have been confirmed. This big silver chip is in fact a Quectel M95. Now, I'm not going to get too geeky here, but the bottom line is that it's a GSM slash GPRS module and it sends information gathered by the black box back to your insurance company. Right then, let's have a closer look at the battery, which as you can see, I've now removed from the printed circuit board. And as I said earlier, this feels to me like there's just two normal AAA rechargeable batteries housed in this green sleeve. So let's break in and find out if I'm right. It feels like there's a little indent there where it might split. Now, if it won't just snap, I'll have to get the knife out. Oh, it did snap nice and easy. Yep. That looks pretty much what I expected to see. Let's just carry on breaking into it. It's probably not the best idea to be cut into towards my leg with a Stanley knife, but there you go. We shall be careful. Got away with that one. Okay. So there we go, two fairly standard rechargeable AAA batteries that just happened, I've lost one, <laughs> come back, they just happened to be wrapped up in all this green stuff to operate as one battery and I stopped rolling away. Right, stay. Good. <laughs> and I'll show you why they're wrapped up together by taking some voltage readings on the multimeter. Okay, let's start with a single AAA battery, and I have one wired up here to the multimeter. There it is, and we can see that single battery is producing about 1.2 volts, but that isn't enough to run the black box. But look what happens when we reconnect the two AAA batteries in series, as I've done there with gaffer tape. In series means that the positive terminal of one battery connects to the negative terminal of the other. And now when we take a reading on the multi-reader, well, look at that. We get much more voltage. It's fluctuating around 2.39, 2.4. Now, as a matter of interest, batteries don't have to be connected in series, as they are here. They can alternatively be connected in parallel. That means that the positive terminals are connected together and the negative terminals are connected together. That doesn't increase the voltage, but it does increase the amp hours. But anyway, series is what was required for this little black box. So, as we can see, there are dozens of other individual components on this printed circuit board, on both sides in fact, all of which help monitor your driving style and where you are. I think that green one there, I think that may be a fuse, and just look at all these traces all the way around. It really is a remarkable piece of technology. But nonetheless, I'm glad I haven't got one fitted to my car. So there you go, that's what's inside a car insurance black box. Now, before we finish, don't forget to subscribe to Car Spy TV. That makes it easier to find my other content. Can you also please do me a favor? My chair keeps squeaking. Will you be quiet? <laughs> Can you do me a favor, please, and click like on this video, and I'll see you next time. Right. Where can I find some oil? <laughs>